for being a decent human being had been anchored by culture and you know what I'm saying? It's it's I I like it's, a, it's a byproduct, you know what I'm it's saying? Not, like, it's a byproduct. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Bamboo Ceiling Podcast, quarantine version, episode four. Uh, you know, it's been a rough start of the year for Asians. Uh, between getting blamed for the coronavirus to the blatant racism um, to Andrew Yang getting no love at the presidential uh, debates, uh, it's been a rough start. And you know what? We were thinking, hey, we didn't we didn't get to choose whether or not uh, we're Asian, right? But what if you did, right? What if, what if you you got to choose? And so we decided to come up with the top three reasons why it's awesome to be Asian. Um, and I, I want to preface this by saying these are generalizations right and by no means do they represent like all the opinions of the asians right these are our opinions and so what we're going to do today is we're going to come up w individually with our top three and then we're going to try to come up with a consensus top three right and so i'll start off by giving mine uh the first one is for me right uh, and they're not in any order. They're just my three. The first one is you will always have a roof over your head, right? You'll always have a roof over your head. And but what I mean by that is um, I think in Western culture, not a lot of the times uh, parents expect you to be able to be on your own once you turn 18, right? Or if you go to college or once you're out of college. And so in the Asian culture, my parents, right, uh, they wanted me to stay with them. Um, they wanted me to live with them, right? So I kind of went back and forth, right? I moved out, I came back in, I moved out, I got married, I came back and, and I lived with them, right? And so I will always have a roof over my head, right? I, I will always have the option to move back with my parents and um and i think that's that's something awesome right um number two is um in in america it, it's it's been proven or it hasn't been proven but i was looking at a consensus right and it said the medium household of an asian family is seventy eight thousand, right which w our income tends to be a little bit higher right um, and this is kind of where a con becomes a pro. I, I think it's because there's so little representation of Asians in leadership that um, as a kid, I wasn't able to see myself as some big shot CEO of this company. And so I just didn't care about that, right? And, and so what happens is we tend to kind of say, hey, you know what? we're going to be our own boss. And so we go and be entrepreneurs, right? So we go and open up our own businesses or we go and, um, you know, uh, start up online uh, um, stores, online entrepreneurships. And the, the medium or entrepreneurs tend to make a little bit more money. And I think that's part of the reason or that's one of the reasons why, right? And so my third one is kind of controversial. My third one is, well, Jesus was Asian, right? Or is Asian. Um, I grew up, I grew up in a Christian household, right? And I had a lot, I had mostly non-Christian friends and my cousins were all non-Christians, right? And so I grew up thinking, or got, I got made fun of because I believed in the white man's religion, right? They're like, Dan, you believe in a white man. I, I betrayed my Hmong people. And come <laughs> to find out, right, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, which is modern day Israel, right? And Israel is on the continent of Asia, right? Which would make him Asian, right? <laughs> Middle Eastern Asian, but Asian. And so 
Uh, and in in our, in our Bible, if God made us in His image, right? And so, if God made humans in His image, and if Jesus is God, that would make the default human Asian. <laughs> I like that. So, so that's that's my top three. Yeah. Um. Those are those are good. <laughs> I think those are good. I feel like I ha I do feel like have a pretty uh, solid list of myself, and I just feel like my list here may uh, do some damage for sure. Okay. Oh, right. Um, I I like the you know the importance of family and being family oriented for sure. Mine has a different twist where it says we get to experience the richness of community. You know, we get to experience hospitality in a whole nother level. We know how to treat our guests where they're actually welcomed, they're loved. And um, we get to live in the moment. So meaning like in that, you know, we get to not put people as an agenda and we get to actually value each other. And time is not of the essence where, where time doesn't matter and we care um for each other in that moment where we get to hang out and not be part of like hey you're an agenda for me or you're something to check off the list and so we get to experience community in a whole nother level which i truly value i i do think like you know being asian you know it, it, we got our perks man we got like our pros in this and so we get to experience community on a whole nother level that's me um, that's one of them. Um, I like this one. We're technically sound people. <laughs> we, love <laughs> we love quality, you know, and, and, and you never have to worry about, oh, this is generalizing, but you never have to worry about the quality not being up, like on par with anything. Like we just love things to be put in place excellently technically sound if something doesn't look right we'll have to make it look better and so it's just like that hey that drive for excellence so you know we're technically sound people all around and we're gonna work to get there um like kind of in kind of like the stereotype of china like in the olympics if you win second you're losing like <laughs> you gotta win first right you gotta get that gold medal I think that's kind of just Asian mentality all around. Then again, this is generalization. Um, and this one can be controversial. And, and I just want to say this does not imply that other people aren't. Um, Asians are decent human beings. <laughs> and that does not imply that other people aren't. But here's the thing. Asians grow up with the value of respect for people for culture um we know how to be modest um and not be acting out much in public or whatnot and so that comes from we know how to disappoint kids <laughs> takes a village to raise a kid um and discipline is not a bad thing we can look at discipline in all types of shapes but i do know that in that asians are decent human beings I, and that's something I will vouch for um, but that does not imply that other people aren't so that's my top three yeah oh cool man I like I like both your guys' top three but I, I feel like mine are a lot stronger <laughs> so uh, yeah my first one here is culture and because there's such a variety of cult different cultures for, to the Asian to the Asian race and for instance, right, like when you look at a Western type uh, wedding, it's always tuxedo, dress, church environment. But when you think about Asian weddings, there's so many different variations of it, right? Like you take a Hmong wedding, it's completely different from a Laotian wedding, completely different from a Thai wedding, completely different from a Burmese, Chinese, Japanese, Korean type wedding. And uh, Asians are the only group, when it comes to culture, Asians are the only group of immigrants to come to america and still uh hold on to their mother tongue their food their culture 
because you've got the Italians, you've got the Germans, and everybody that I talk to who is Caucasian nowadays, they say, hey, my, I'm, I'm actually Polish and this, but they can't speak that mother tongue, right? But, but the, 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 all the Japanese Asian immigrants that came to America in the 1900s, for the most part, still, keep their, uh, still have their mother tongue. So culture to them is a lot more uh, intact than other, other uh, ethnicities. My second one is generosity. Asians are the only group of people that you can go to a restaurant with and someone, someone will definitely pay, right? Will sneak up to pay for your tab. We're the only people that does that, right? Like that whole, hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And before you know it, the tab has been taken care of. That generosity, man, I love that. Because when you're broke, when you're broke that, it's always nice to know that someone's got you covered, right? You, you, we can go eat and I know that, hey, I've got no money, but somebody's got my back. I, I love that generosity. And Asians are the only group of people that uh, will, will say yes before giving you a reason to say no. So for instance, uh, if, you, if any one of you guys asked me to use my car, right, I would default to saying yes before I can even think of like reasons to say no, if you guys catch my drift. Whereas other people, they tend to say no before they think of a good reason to say yes. So we're kind of, that generosity, we default to saying yes, we default to, to uh, uh, lending a hand and, and giving before not giving. Um, and that's my second one. My third one is spirituality. Asians are more spiritually connected. And what I mean by that is like, for instance, right? You've got your yin and your yin. You've got your zen. You've got your chi, your karma. Like we're just spiritually intact. We're just connected. We just, the way we, the way we um, treat our dead, the way we treat our ancestors, spiritually Asians are just a lot more connected as a, as a group versus, Hey, bur bury that dude and, and be done with it. You know? So those are my top three, man. So yeah, I hope you guys liked them. Yeah, those are good. Those are, those are good. I, I really still like my, Oh, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, so as we are trying to like come up with like the pros or a consensus top list, of all our you know top three lists you know what do you think qualifies for that list you know and so I, I think we have a lot of different unique take on what we love about being Asian and the pros of being Asian and this is our conversation but as we are trying to combine our list what do you think makes our top three lit on our consensus list I like I like what Apple had to say right about the roof over your head because seldomly do you see like a homeless Asian person. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of how fucked up you are or how, how bad you, you did in life, there's always a roof. It, it, whether if it's not your immediate family, you will always have a friend or a family that will always lend you like a helping hand. So when I, when I picture roof over your head, I'm thinking about like, um, you know, hey, man, I'm down, I'm down to my last, I'm down to my knees, man. My family, my, my parents kicked me out, but I can always rely on like a friend to let me stay there for a bit. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like a, or, or a sister or a brother. So when you do see like an Asian person on, out on the streets, because that's because they done fucked up, you know, like they, they just, they turn their backs on everyone. So it's, it's seldom that you see an Asian homeless person. That's why yeah. you don't see a whole lot of them, you know, because you always get a roof over your head. Dude, but when you do see one, isn't it a shock? Like I saw one in Minneapolis, right? Yeah. Just, and like, this was years back. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Like I, I had to like look again. I'm like, Oh shoot, that was an Asian guy, right? Like seeing an shocking. Asian homeless person is almost as as special as like seeing like a UFO, you know? Like it's it's <laughs> it doesn't happen often. It's pretty rare, you know. Oh. When you, when it is, it's so choppy, you got to take you got to give it a second take. <laughs> yeah, I I think I do agree with like we value community, we value family, right? Yeah. Like yeah. it was so tight knit and that even though we may not be like not every family can be tight knit or close. Like at the end of the day, we will vouch for family or bring right. people in yeah. um, that is a relative or is a brother. I I can see that as definitely a benefit a, a in being, pro to being yeah, Asian. Yeah. In being Asian, um, yeah, I I I feel like that could be 
on our top three list for sure, our consensus top. Yeah. Would you guys agree, or is there any like um, pushback? No, I like that. I like that. I I, I would say let's. I would put it down as family, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, just family. Family. family yep. Um, what are the other? T- I really think I like this one, and I feel like this one needs to make our top list. Is we are decent human beings. Like honestly, <laughs> like here's the thing: it doesn't. Not everybody, every Asian, fall into this generalized blanket statement, but. We are decent human beings. We grow up with morals and the value of respect. Hard to say, you you rarely have to teach any Asian kids respect. I go to these kids, I go to, you know, I, I go to the high school and automatically these Asian kids, you know, they would come shake my hand without even knowing me, knowing that I'm older than them. And who teaches them that, you know? And And so for me, we're just decent human beings all around. Like we know how to treat people in a way that if we're afraid of, you know, engaging in something, at least we will treat them in a way that will not shame them in the moment of. I don't so, know. What do you thought? No, I, I agree. Um, but I think it, it stems from our culture and how we're raised as kids. Um, so I would kind of like put that together with Duck's culture. Uh, it's just because uh, I think Asians as a culture, um, we raised our kids a certain way. And so I guess that's kind of where I would lean. Yeah. Because I felt like Duck is saying the richness of culture. Yeah. You know, yeah. over, over the values of respect in that sense, values of morals and decency as behaviors over culture. Because, yeah. go ahead, Apple. Yeah, no, I, so I, this is where I'm like super biased when I, when we talk about, and, and, and then you get to see some of my um, whitewashedness, I guess I would say. I, I think a lot of, a lot of this, uh, I think it didn't get on my list because to me, a lot of it has to do with face as well, mm. <laughs> you know, and like, I'm trying to like work that out right now. Like, I like that uh, too. I we're like decent, that face, but we're decent, but I know so many people that are decent because of face, you know, not, because, maybe, not by choice, right? Not, not by, yeah. not by um, their morals. Okay. But I- I'm with you. My angle on yeah. it is, people that we don't know, right? We will mm-hmm. never go upon disrespecting that person that we don't know. Like it's yeah. rare to see that. And it's the, we grew up with a value of decency, of respect for others. Dude, okay. so, I, I, I see that, I see that. I, but let me chime in too, right? So my, my wife, she teaches. And so she's around like different groups of kids. And I will agree too, good like to Goose part, I will agree because um, immediately you can kind of tell who the troublemakers are gonna be and who the <laughs> listeners are gonna be. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, I'm not trying to make a blatant statement, but <laughs> but the usually generally what she tells me are like the the obedient, the listen, respectful kids, the kids that who are a lot more respectful tends to be the Asian kids, right? Just because, I mean, you know what I'm saying? As a teacher, like a lot of kids will, will, will talk back to you. A lot of them will will feel entitled. But the Asian kids, for the most part, are, are pretty well-groomed, well uh, respectful. You know, and I don't think these kids know anything about face yet. So that's yeah. a place of genuine that is coming from. So both yeah. of you guys are making good points on uh, good points on that part. And- yeah, I work, at a, I work at a school too, and mm-hmm. I, I would say the majority – of the yeah. Asians yeah. are are well yeah. behaved. I want to there's say a, there was, yeah, there's you always wanna, a couple. All right. You want to say all? Well, I, I do know that <laughs> I think okay, this is coming from my lens, right? That we know how to discipline kids or or not afraid to step into that space. Maybe 
a generation. We beat our kids, basically. Is that what you're saying, right? <laughs> I didn't say that. Oh. I didn't say that. <laughs> hey, man, they're coming for you. Yes, on me. I'm saying discipline, and that looks like all types of form, shape, whatever. Um, yeah. To know how to um, be an adult and not just be a friend, mm. you know, to kids. Um, and that doesn't mean that um, they're less than. That just means that they're in a place of growing. And so, yeah, I, so I feel like Asians can have a heavy hand in the disciplining for sure. And whatever that heavy hand looks like. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to send the wrong message here. Uh, I, I think that should make the list. I'm just vouching. I think that's one of the ones that I feel um, strongly. That, so you're saying, so what is it? You're saying values? You're saying... Um, I'm saying being decent human beings. Being that's decent, kind of right? my blanket. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, over that. Does, does not imply that other people aren't decent human beings. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm, you know, I can I can agree with that one. Because the majority, the majority of the cases that we see, like Asians are, hence the saying, right, that we are the model minority because we are decent. Yeah, and and rarely, I think, to the point of where we come more passive in that. So I think instigating or being assertive, you know, trying to abruptly cause harm or shame people out of instigating something is rare as a yeah. rare thing like well it'll be more of a backlash and more of a passive reaction more than you instigating something so so what you're trying to tell me is that you won't hear an asian guy yelling out world star yeah well i think you will never you it'll, it'll be hard to find an asian person instigating a fight right 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 yeah <laughs> you know and plus, it's a wolf pack mentality. It's yeah. not going to be one person. It's going to be your whole family. Family, your own, cousins, and uncles. All yeah. your cousins. Oh, oh, I like that. Okay, well, we, can, we can put that there. We can, we can go okay. with that, too. All right, so what, what, uh, what rounds out the, the number three, then? What should we put on number three? I, I'm kind of going through it. <clears throat> no, I'm going through it. I'm reading. I think, for me... Um, I do like the community part of uh, our community of Asians. You know, we know how we know how to be in community, and it, it matters to us, right? And it's not an agenda. We're just not trying to to uh, meet up so we can sell you insurance or whatever, right? Um, we hey, just hey. put a focus. <laughs> hey, hey. I, feel, I feel attacked, dude. I feel attacked, man. Uh, no, Duck has never tried to sell insurance to me. Uh, but you know, like we put a focus on that. Like it's something that we care about and something that we do well. Um, you know, um, so I, I feel like the community uh, that uh, that we put so much focus on, like that, that should make number three. That, yeah, community, because I think that falls into the two that I, that I picked, right? Like culture, that richness and culture, because we hold on to that culture. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have Chinatown, you have Korean town because of that community that, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't see little Germany or little Poland, right? Because we, 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 we value that community, right? So that's, that's part of it. And, and because, because of the, because of the generosity. So I'm in a way I'm trying I'm trying to put two of mine into that one because <laughs> you're fitting into you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm I'm sleek like that you know because generosity <laughs> because what what's a community when no one's generous right like for instance we're home and er, er, when we when we have like a little potluck a little get together I mean everybody just brings a little bit of something you know that generosity it's not I'm I'm only bringing for my family I'm not B Y O B right I'm not bringing my yeah. own beer yeah you know what I'm saying like we don't have that B Y O B mentality. Yeah. Oh, for sure yeah. the alcohol. The, the alcohol. alcohol. Yeah. yeah. We are, There's no. We are very generous when it comes to <laughs> There's that. Yeah. abundance and yeah. not of who's going to bring what. It's more of everybody's going to bring something to the table. Right. You know. Um. I I want to correct you though. There is a German town. I went to Bible. No uh, way. Columbus and there is. <laughs> so I'm just saying. So, Ohio, <laughs> I, man. I think there's um 
we have festivities and festivals mm -hmm. that not a lot of people celebrate and we get yes. to celebrate just not on New Year's, but on throughout the year we get festivals that we get to come together as a community mm -hmm. I, I i do value that we we ha we get to experience the richness of hospitality and being welcomed mm -hmm. and being cared for when we go somewhere where it's just like dang like people actually genuinely want to talk to me and get to know me and and not feel like I'm you know a checklist you know they're just gonna talk to me just to check something off their agenda and I feel I feel cared for like I feel seen and valued and that's one thing where I'm just like dang like I probably won't feel like this a lot of at other places but I feel like this a lot in my community dude yeah so a, a little quick a little quick story about it right so like when when uh when i was still younger and me and sue we were in uh, my friend growing up we were in um wrestling together so we would travel from from town to town you know uh with our team to go like to an event to wrestle and then travel back and sometimes it takes like a whole day but we would always stop by these gas stations to to pick up like snacks and this and that and that whole generosity, that whole loving, that whole thing is, okay, so, like, there will be times when he doesn't have any money, and I'll just say, hey, and, and let's say I have 20 bucks on me, and I'll be like, dude, just get whatever you want. I got you, you know, and then the, the our uh, our um, um, teammates, which are Caucasians, they would see us doing that, and they would immediately, immediately, the only thing that comes up in their head is, hey, does he owe you money? Is that why he's paying for you? You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. It, they they can't even comprehend that hey that generosity they can't comprehend it they think it's it's somebody owes you a debt and you're paying off your debt right but that right. also goes to family right and value right. that right. you're you're it's a collective your your family oriented right right mm -hmm. over you know individual based mentality that yeah. it's all for me and, and whatnot so so do we agree that hey family makes our list like it's so we're so intertwined and tight knitted in family that there's so much family support mm -hmm. so family makes our you know pro I, I have family down as number one okay mm -hmm. apple would you agree on that yeah yeah for sure okay and number two do we agree that being decent human beings make our list as well yeah, being decent but... human beings, is that like <laughs> that you guys feel makes but that's concerned? I feel like being a decent human being had been anchored by culture and you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I I like it's, a, it's a byproduct, you know what I'm saying? A, like, <laughs> it's a byproduct of culture, but it's what is seen, right? Over culture. Like it's, What's it's the, 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 on the surface, right? That's what you yeah, see. Yeah, on the surface. So culture is the iceberg, right? Of the, <laughs> the, you know, water. So being decent human beings, like is what is the product of it. It's the byproduct of it. We can go with that too. I mean, everything we've said thus far, I like. You know, yeah, there's not a single thing I don't like. What about um? What about so our third one is the richness of community or just community as a whole, like um, being able to have events and richness of culture um, and community. Would you guys agree on that one? Mm -hmm. What did you say for the third one? The richness of community. Dude, I can't I can't disagree with anything. Like everything sounds so good. You know, like I like I like yeah, I like rich the richness of community. I like that too. What about you, Apple? I feel like Jesus is getting shorthanded. Oh Jesus, dude, I totally <laughs> forgot about him. <laughs> I, no, I agree, <laughs> but, but here's the thing: not everybody's Christian, mm. and so even though I think mm. people think may think that Jesus is a good person, right, and he could be a prophet, which you know I myself identify as a Christian, but in that sense, I think a collective whole it doesn't fall <laughs> on the you know the Asian you yeah. know majority in this. So. No, and I fully admit that it's something like that was really personal to me, anyways. Because, like you know, um, you I grew up being not good enough to be white, but then not Hmong enough to be Hmong. You know, so that just that hit a 
a um, trigger, you know. Okay, so our list looks like family, number one, decent human being, number two, and three, you know, richness of community. You guys good with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. that. Yeah, I'm good with oh. that. Huh? Yeah, so you guys agree? Well, we're good with that, right? Yeah. Okay, I thought you were. I thought you were gonna say something because the way you said "wall." <laughs> I said "cool." Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, that sums up our um our episode. Um, those are our top three pros of being an Asian. I hope you guys like. I hope you guys liked it. Um. And if you guys, hey, feel free to comment below, like in the comment sections, if you guys are watching this through YouTube or whatever. Uh, your your top five, your top three, whatever you feel, right? If you agree or disagree. Feel free to comment, and uh, we would love to hear it. And if this is interesting stuff to you, next week we are actually going to be talking about the top three cons of being Asian. So, um, yeah, be on the lookout. Stay tuned, and I hope to see you guys next week. Hey, if you enjoyed this episode of The Bamboo Ceiling, we'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give us a review on iTunes. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at hashtag The Bamboo Ceiling. Until next time, use your voice.